Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Amen. Hey guys and welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janet Davies and I am your hair growth guide. <laughs> I'm going to get straight to it. We're going to be discussing the one thing that you need to understand for absolute maximum hair growth. So that one thing is something that I think is very underrated when it comes to understanding and knowing how to grow out super long healthy hair and that is, drum roll please, porosity. Yes I said it, Porosity. Your hair porosity is probably one of the most important factors you need to understand when you're on this natural hair journey. Porosity is what I would describe as sort of like the personality of your hair. It kind of determines how well your hair kind of like absorbs moisture or product or how your hair will just react in certain environments and things like that. So if you don't know what porosity is, the way you can find out your porosity is the float test and I'll definitely like insert a little clip here but you pretty much get a few clean strands of hair preferably in different locations on your scalp you put it in a glass of room temperature water for about two to three minutes and you just wait for your results so if your hair kind of sinks really fast to the bottom you most likely have high porosity hair. If your hair sinks slowly to the bottom, you will have medium porosity hair. And if your hair just floats on the top like baby, we're not going anywhere, you most likely have low porosity hair. And it's completely fine to have multiple porosities at different locations on your head. I would say I'm actually a mix. I used to think I was 100% low porosity, but I think I'm a mix between medium and low porosity. So what is porosity and why is it important? in this natural hair growth journey why is it so important as like the number one thing to grow long healthy hair so for my low porosity girls and guys I'm team low porosity so I'm I'm here I've been there okay low porosity hair is characterized by hair cuticles that are extremely low meaning that they're not high they're not medium they're literally low therefore that cuticle is resistant to accepting moisture and the way in which I like to describe a hair cuticle is very similar to the pores on your skin for example some people have really large open pores some people have really tight pores and depending on how big your pores are that will obviously determine how well your skin or your hair kind of like absorbs products moisture all things like that so very similar to hair if your hair is low porosity your cuticles are very low and they are very resistant to accepting moisture and we all know that afro hair in particular is one of the driest in the planet can we just be real here our hair is dry like we just we know that because of the the nature of our kinks and coils the natural sebum that is like produced from our scalp finds it very hard to get to the ends of our hair so if we are, have a naturally dry hair doubled up with low porosity meaning hair that is literally resistant to absorbing moisture that is a freaking problem because dry hair breaks it's as simple as that if anyone ever tells you otherwise they're a liar dry hair breaks so before we get into like the products and stuff, because if you don't know already, I believe that hair growth is about 30% products and 70% methods. So before we get in, even into the kind of products you wanna be using, let's look into the strategies we can adopt to make sure that our low porosity hair is moisturized. So as I said before, the cuticles on your hair are somewhat like pores and the way in which a cuticle or a pore can be lifted very easily Easily, just temporarily of course is through steam so if you're a low porosity girl steam is your best friend so the techniques that I use literally till this day and I always recommend every low porosity girl to use are things like steam treatments, steam deep conditioning treatments so when you are applying your deep conditioner you want to definitely use a steam cap to kind of open up your cuticles and allow that product penetration to be even 
greater or you can do overnight but i know some people get a little bit political and like emotional about leaving deep conditioner overnight because they think it might cause fungus and like what is it a hydro fatigue and all this kind of stuff but at the end of the day deep conditioner is very similar to leave-in conditioner and if you're going to leave leave-in conditioner in your hair there's literally no difference in putting deep conditioner in your hair overnight because guess what it contains preservatives which prevent products from going moldy Anywho, and with the whole high goal fatigue thing, in my honest opinion, I feel like that can only really be, be achieved if you're constantly applying water every single day versus just putting deep conditioner in your hair overnight. But that's neither here nor there. Those are just my own personal opinions. But if you want to deep condition overnight, there's really nothing wrong with that at all. Personally, I've done it. It's honestly helped, you know, save time. Like for example, if you've washed your hair, like for like a whole day and you want to just like deep condition and like do the rest the next morning there's literally nothing wrong with that okay so another technique you can use as a low porosity gel is to apply your leave-in conditioner straight out of the shower so that is a great technique to use because when you just like washed your hair and you've left that kind of steamy um, environment or even if you're still in the shower you've kind of squeezed out all the excess water and you apply your leave-in conditioner in that steamy environment that is like golden okay because your hair cuticles are still somewhat slightly raised so that's really good because then that product will penetrate really 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 well so with that being said the kind of products or I should say ingredients you should be looking for in products if you are a low porosity girl and even high porosity to be honest is humectants humectants are somewhat a super ingredient because they literally grab moisture from the air and into your hair so things like honey and glycerin these are your honestly OG humectants that should be quite high up in the ingredient list so that you know you're getting good con concentration of them and they will honestly help you to just maintain so much moisture it helps you to moisturize your hair like even post shower post putting that leave-in conditioner you know those conditions that you use and you still feel like your hair is moisturized for days on end it's most likely because they have a great humectant count in them of course my favorites are the deep conditioner and the leave-in conditioners and the everything basically from Amino Naturals. If you didn't know already, Amino Naturals is a brand created and hand formulated, curated by yourself. And I've been on this journey for over 10 years. So when it comes to ingredients, I'm a girl. Anywho, moving on to high porosity hair. High porosity hair, very similar you know to the description of low porosity hair has a cuticles that are very high so if you can imagine if this is your hair strand and the cuticle is very high that means that hair strand can accept moisture completely fine however because those cuticles are so highly raised that moisture will escape just as quickly as it was absorbed also because the cuticles are so highly raised they're more likely to be broken and just more easily broken so you're faced with this double conundrum with hair that accepts moisture fine but release like loses it just as quickly and it's even more fragile and more likely to be broken so you have this double conundrum with dry hair and really brittle hair that is like trying to break off at every moment and that even makes it a third conundrum because if your hair is dry it's even more likely to break so it's like it's dry it's more brittle and easy more, more likely to break and because it's dry it's even more brittle so it's just it's a bit it's a bit mad let's just be honest so when it comes to this type of hair i would say you obviously need to still deep condition your hair and things like that you still want to be using your leave-in conditioners and also sealing them with an oil but obviously because of this hair type a little bit more love still needs to be shown so techniques to use as a high porosity gal or boy if you're watching my channel is to do protein treatments so protein treatments are really good for this hair type because they allow you to kind of repair and replenish that kind of broken hair shaft that you often find with this hair type of course i'm going to recommend the ultimate strength 
intense deep conditioning mask from Amino Naturals. That not only has protein, but it has also strengthening herbs that help to honestly change the life of your hair. The kind of protein that is actually in this deep conditioner is what you call silk amino acids. And silk amino acids are amazing because they're literally small enough to penetrate the hair strand and strengthen it overall. So silk amino acids are they. And that's in the ultimate strength intense deep conditioner, <laughs> deep conditioning mask at Amino Naturals. So another technique to use if you're a high porosity gal or boy is to do a hot oil treatments or even pre-poo treatments. And that's because with high porosity hair, that hair type without trying to get too scientific is more water loving versus oil loving. If hair is too water loving, it actually is more likely to break. I don't want to get too deep into the science but basically you want your hair to be more on the oil loving side versus the water loving because sometimes it can accept water and then it can just have that whole high growth fatigue thing or whatever whatever but for the most part if your hair is high porosity you want to make sure your hair is as oil loving as possible and the best way to do that is to do your hot oil treatments so that can literally look like getting your favorite oil of course i love the hair strengthening oils the extra strength and the normal version from amino and naturals they have great strengthening ingredients and just nourishing replenishing and just goodness in there if you warm that up a little bit you put that in your hair and you allow that to kind of like sit overnight or just within a few hours that can also count as a pre-poo that will honestly help prevent so much like damage that can occur in the shower through of course like washing your hair so if you do a pre-poo or a hot oil treatment honestly if you're high porosity this is a game changer for your hair another technique is strengthening herbs okay this is something that i've kind of gotten so much more into in the latter years of my natural hair journey and honestly it is changing the game and it's such a great thing also for high porosity girls so as i said if you have high porosity hair your hair is a lot more likely to be broken therefore you want to be looking for ingredients oils herbs whatever it is that will strengthen your hair so things like amla aritha fenugreek neem shikakai these are your best friends when it comes to strengthening your hair so that it's much less likely to break off and all of those herbs are not only found in a monoraptor's shampoo but in the extra strength hair growth potion extra strength hair strengthening oil and also the deep the ultimate strength deep conditioner so these herbs are honestly your friends of course more so for high porosity but if you're low porosity these honestly will help you just as well alternatively if you're not really if you're someone who loves to do a diy i'm definitely going to make more videos on this but you can definitely infuse these herbs into your favorite oils of course i think the the best oils for also strengthening purposes are like olive oil, avocado oil, vitamin E is also really good for nourishing the strands and sweet almond oil. These are all oils found in the mineral naturals products. But if you do have these oils at hand, you can literally steep the herbs into these oils and it will create such a blend. You need about, I would say, four to six weeks for this process to happen but i'll definitely have more videos on that on or you could just do a quick google but definitely including herbs in your oils is like big so another technique or tip i should say that is really relevant to our high porosity guys and girls is to look for products which have ingredients that are cationic so cationic is ultimately positively charged and what that will do is on a hair strand the parts that are very damaged will most likely have a negative charge so positively charged ingredients will therefore be attracted to these negatively charged areas of damage on a hair strand and that will make the hair a lot more manageable and less likely to break so it's been a while since i graduated but i want to try my best to pronounce some of these uh, cationic ingredients they include i want to read them for my phone because the like, life is too long i cannot be memorizing these so things like behenna trimonium methosulfate behenna trimonium chloride <laughs> polyquat <laughs> Look, I graduated how many years ago? I'm struggling here. Polyquaternium 7, Cetramonium Chloride. And I'm not even going to bother saying the last one. But you guys get what I mean. You, what you want to be looking for is positively charged ingredients in your conditioner because they will attract to the negatively parts of your hair that are damaged. You remember that cuticle call? That tends to be a bit more damaged and weaker. And then that will make your hair much more manageable and just, wow. 
So the last tip for high porosity, but it does also apply to low porosity, guys and girls, is to seal your hair with an oil. Okay, and this is really important because when you're, you know, doing your whole routine, using a leave-in leave conditioner is definitely not enough. You want to go in with an oil to not only seal that moisture in, but to also strengthen it as well. So oils, like I said, like olive oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, vitamin E, uh, grapeseed oil. These oils are really, really great for nourishing the hair and penetrating it strengthening it and enabling that moisture that is so easy lost to be maintained so i've been janet davies and you guys have been amazing thank you so much for watching this video if you do have any more kind of suggestions definitely leave it down below i want the comment section to be like a really nice forum for you guys to kind of chat and if you have any ideas definitely leave them back down below if you do have any video ideas or anything you want me to just, to kind of like discuss more in detail definitely definitely comment down below and if you just want to say hello you just want to wish your girl some good luck and pray for me whatever whatever definitely comment below but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye